This is my recovery week. I did learn a lot this week about intermittent fasting and training for a marathon. Personally, I felt it a little different than the research that I did, but I adjusted. I signed up to run the Dopey Challenge in January in Orlando, Florida, which is running a 5K, 10K, half marathon, and a full marathon back to back, which is 48.6 miles or 78 kilometers. I started out weighing 235 pounds with a 14 half minute mile. My goals were to be down to 200 pounds and to a 12 minute mile by the time race day started. It's a 28 week training plan, so I had plenty of time to do it. Things did not go as planned though. I've made adjustments throughout for my running, and I've also had to adjust my weight goal. So my goal now is to be at 210 pounds by race day. Prior to this week, I was stuck at 224 pounds for three weeks. I was counting my calories. I don't know what was wrong, if I was entering them wrong, but I decided I needed to shake it up some. I decided to start intermittent fasting, where I was going to go to a 16-8 intermittent fasting, which I knew on my really long runs, I had to eat something beforehand so I would have to break the fast early because those races start at like 4 a.m. I can't run 20 miles with no food on my stomach for 16 hours. I didn't decide to do intermittent fasting just for the weight loss. There are studies that I read talking about the cognitive health benefits as well as other health benefits beyond just weight loss. So I thought I'd give it a try. This week I had two 45 minute runs and a five mile run to complete. Since last weekend I did seven miles followed by 17 miles, my Tuesday run became a Tuesday walk. Though I was trying to walk at a very fast pace. The time I have though and the distance is inaccurate because I walked for 35 minutes then I had to finish up the last 10 minutes inside. According to my watch, I walked 2.28 miles at a 1945 minute mile. I know that's not accurate because the first 35 minutes had a much faster pace, but I'll go with it. This was day two of intermittent fasting, so it wasn't that hard. I was only at 13 hours of not eating, so I didn't notice any differences and I walked. Day four of intermittent fasting. I just finished my 45 minute run. My pace is a little slower. I'm at my 15 hour day, so I'm a little afraid of how hungry I'm gonna get. It's an adjustment, not necessarily a bad adjustment. It's just something different. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the five mile runs without eating something first. Got close to four miles today, and the last part of it was really hard. We'll see on Saturday when I do that, but I'm at 15 hours now. I should be at 16 hours by then for this 45 minute run. About 11 and a half minute pace. I'll put the real pace below. I'm gonna stick to it though. We'll see how it turns out. Tomorrow, I'll go 16.8. I'll be in full force. When I was doing my Saturday run, I knew I was gonna have to eat something before it to give myself the energy to complete it. I have to balance my weight loss with my endurance training, so I have to make sure I have the energy and I replicate what I'm gonna do for my run which I'm not gonna starve myself at run weekend. It's just not gonna happen. I didn't know whether I should use goo or not, so I went without the goo. I decided just to use some electrolyte water and I ate a cliff Bar beforehand and started my five mile run. All right, five mile run done. I'm at day six of intermittent fasting. I finally got to 16 eight yesterday, but because of the five mile run, I noticed on my 45 minute runs that I needed to eat something first. I hate to do this though, because Friday was my first 16 eight. So it was the first time I went fasting for 16 hours. So treating this like my normal long run, I drank my cup of coffee, ate my cliff Bar, so I only fasted for 11 hours today. I'll go back to 16 eight tomorrow. So I did a lot of research and they say with endurance training, it could actually be worse for you to not eat. But I ran this in a little under an hour, 11.44 minute mile, awesome. Pushed myself, sun's just now coming up, so time to go eat some breakfast. Probably burned almost a thousand calories. Do this. After the run, I realized I probably should have used some goo. I noticed myself hitting the wall again as I was getting close to that five miles. It could just be the first week as well, so I don't know. We'll see how the second week goes. But intermittent fasting made my body will adjust. On Sunday, going back to 16A was really hard. I didn't ease my way in as I did the first part of the week. I just went back to 16.8 and been sticking to it. I do feel better though. I have not noticed a big loss of energy like a lot of people do. I do feel hungry, but I think a lot of that's psychological because I tracked my calories still and I ate the same amount of calories just in a shorter window. And the results are amazing. So let's jump into the weight loss. Last week I was at 224 pounds. My current weight is 221 pounds. I lost three pounds in one week. I'm attributing that to part of my body adjusting as well as water weight, but three pounds in one week after being stuck for three weeks is amazing. That really caught me up to get back towards my goal. I ate the same calories as I was doing the prior three weeks though. I just finished eating by 7 p.m. and didn't eat until 11 a.m. the next day. That's the only thing I changed. I don't anticipate losing three pounds every week. I think this was just the jump start. I am excited because I only have two more pounds to lose to be under 220 pounds. I have not been there in years. Next week I have two 45 minute runs and a six mile run with a magic mile. I'll explain what that is in the next video if you don't know what a magic mile is. I plan to stick to 16.8 for the two 45 minute runs and only break my fast for the six mile run on the weekends. This is also my last recovery week for a while. After this coming up week, it's an eight and a half minute walk and a 20 mile run, followed by Wine and Dine, which is supposed to be my recovery week, but I'm gonna be doing a 10K and a half marathon. And I'm gonna record part of Wine and Dine. I'll put some of those videos up here and share what Wine and Dine's like, some of the characters that are there, the after party. I'm gonna try to record a lot of that stuff. So I'm excited to see how everything I've been training for applies when I run this 10K and a half marathon in the real world. Make sure to check out this playlist right here to see some of the adjustments I've made over the past 16 weeks. Maybe you're thinking about making the same adjustments Next week's video will be right here. You can see how the intermittent fasting went. See if I lost three more pounds or maybe I'll at least be under 220 pounds.